I'm Michael Newland, Cloud Support Engineer here at the AWS office in Dallas. Today, I'm going to show you how you can implement various Postgres extensions within Amazon Relational Database Service for Postgres. Let's get started. Before you install and use Postgres extensions for Amazon RDS for Postgres, your setup must meet two conditions. If your extension requires being loaded into memory and offers that feature, then it must be listed within the parameter group that's associated with your Amazon RDS instance under the option Shared Preload Libraries. Note that not all extensions require or support this feature, and not all extensions that are loaded into memory are supported by AWS. Before we talk about creating extensions, let's talk about extensions and their usefulness in Postgres. Extensions can package user visible functions or use hooks in the Postgres engine to modify how the database does certain processes. At a high level, extensions expand on the functionality provided by the Postgres engine. Let's dive in and see how to implement this through an example, creating the PG stat statements extension. Now let's create the extension. Next, let's verify that the extension was created. Here, we note the error. We'll address this later in this video. As mentioned already, some extensions can be loaded into memory for faster performance. The extension pgstat statements is one such extension. To resolve this error, we'll navigate to the RDS console and then add pgstat statements to the shared preload libraries parameter in the custom parameter group. Note that modifying a parameter requires a custom parameter group in RDS. To learn how to associate a custom parameter group, find the link in the Knowledge Center article. Now, let's head to the instances parameter group and modify the parameter shared preload libraries by adding pgstat statements to it. Note that shared preload libraries is a static parameter, so we must reboot the RDS instance for it to be effective. For this example, the pgstat statement extension adds a catalog view that we can use to verify whether the extension was created successfully. Now let's head back to pgadmin and run the query. A full list of supported extensions can be found through the query show rds.extensions. So now you know how to implement an extension on Amazon Relational Database Services for Postgres. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.